What's up guys, my name is Dean, aka the Blue Crusader and welcome back to the channel. There's tons of mods out there right now for Minecraft that switch up the gameplay by adding a lot of new things to experience or explore, making it a totally fresh game again with more playtime to enjoy. In this video, I'll be bringing another top 10 mods list for Minecraft 1.16, talking about the top 10 Minecraft mods specifically for version 1.16.2. This video will be like my last top 10 Minecraft mods list videos that I made for 1.14 and Minecraft 1.15. However, this list is updated for mods supporting 1.16.2 and any other 1.16 releases for the Nether update. And as always, I've made sure to feature and offer different mods in this list than I did in the past videos with some brand new and awesome mods for you all to try. Without further ado, let's jump into the list of mods and start the video. Number 10 Cobble for Days First up is a simple little mod that brings you a brand new cobblestone generator solution as a standalone block type. Instead of manually doing it with water and lava streams, you basically use a new multi-tiered block that's available in 5 different tiers. It was mainly made to assist with servers, although it works in single player too. It's very popular to create a cobblestone generator in Skyblock and other mini games just like that. Basically there's the wood, cobblestone, iron, gold and diamond versions of the generator which is crafted with a base block material of each type along with glass and a bucket of lava and a water bucket. This mod is really nice because the block has a really nice custom model and it takes up less space than manually creating a cobblestone generator and there is less room for a mistake or messing stuff up meaning that it's a lot better for fully AFKing the process. You can also connect a hopper to it to collect the cobblestone which is created during the process. Number 9 Tiny Mob Farm Another mod that makes an already existing process in the game far easier, the Tiny Mob Farm mod adds another single block type in different tiers, just like the previous Cobblestone Generator mod did that I mentioned just now in the video. This adds a multi-tiered single block sized mob farm that generates loot drops of each mob type over time. Each tier of these farms have a different speed, with the wood being the slowest and the end block farm being the fastest. There are farms in the following block tiers which are in order of their speed and quality. Wood, Stone, Iron, Gold, Diamond, Emerald, Netherrack and Endstone. First of all you need to capture a mob with a lasso and then insert it into one of these craftable mob farms that will then start to generate the loot of that given mob. You need to place a nearby adjacent chest to collect the loot and the progress bar of the next mob drop is displayed inside the blocks interface. Each mob farm recipe is entirely different but is similar in terms of the recipe structure. This is a really nice and compact process for mob farming without having to make a huge grinder structure like we have to do in vanilla. Number 8 The Bumble Zone This next one is a fun themed mod that adds a brand new dimension called the Bumble Zone that is a land made up of honeycomb and honey blocks, honey crystals, sugar, water and the new bee themed blocks which are added in the mod. Basically when you enter this dimension you'll feel like you've entered a beehive. I have a phobia of mainly wasps so I think I can deal with this mod but if they add wasps in any of the future updates then I'm probably going to uninstall it. You'll find huge water streams and support beams for the hive with honeycomb holes in between with hidden caves scattered nearby. Bees in this dimension will be overly protective of their honey so if you pick up one of their blocks or if you collect it and drink it all of the nearby bees will swarm all around you and become extremely angry. There's even deep red fog that shows in the dimension as well as a potion effect that you'll get called wrath of the hive when they get super mad. You'll need a diamond sword with bane of arthropod and a fully enchanted diamond set to survive these kinds of swarms and even stand a chance because they can be super powerful as a swarm, although you can change this by nerfing their damage in the mod's config if you think they're too overpowered. This is a nice little mod that I didn't feature in my top 10 dimension mods list video so I had to feature in this one and I wanted to add a little bit of diversity of the mods which I'm showing in this video so I thought I'd give you a dimension mod to try out. Number 7 Platforms 
If you ever wanted to create better platforms for your structure, then this mod is the answer to that wish. Some examples of what it can do are things like making a great set of decking and platforms for your roller coasters that look extremely realistic and add real structure and shape to your theme park builds, or making winding staircases and support systems inside your mine caverns. Basically, you'll need to craft a platformer block to create all of the platforms in the mod, which creates different looking platforms based on the material which you use. It utilises the ore dictionary in Minecraft to support mods that add any new blocks and materials. Using a new wrench tool, you can twist and rotate your platforms or change their style or remove them. When you're not using a wrench, you'll see a placement overlay which shows you what the piece will look like when it's placed down and it lets you configure how you want it to look. Number 6 Inventory Hood Plus This mod adds a few additional visual features to the game such as its primary one which is the Inventory Hood which showcases your item inventory on your screen whilst you are playing as a new overlay on screen. You can also switch between different showcase modes that will show it as a mini inventory, normal size inventory or horizontal or vertical displays of your items. This is nice if you want to see everything that you're carrying without having to check your inventory screen. Then there's the Potions Hood which will display Display your potion effects on screen along with the remaining timer left for them. This is customizable, of course, also for the spacing and positions. One final feature that I think PvPers will love in this mod is the armor hood. This shows your armor type and pieces, as well as the durability of each piece that you're wearing and how much free space that you have in your inventory. One cool feature also is that it shows your shield and its durability, as well as the arrows that you're carrying too if you're also using a bow. Number 5 Chinese Workshop. Here's one for all of you builders out there and any admirers of Asian culture or ancient China. The Chinese Workshop mod is a decorative mod that brings you all new Chinese themed building blocks that let you craft your own East Asian architecture and structures in your worlds. You can also build these blocks in survival mode too, which is great since a lot of the building mods don't seem to have recipes for non-creative modes nowadays. There's a lot of block types to use in this mod and the mod creators have some really beautiful builds and screenshots showcasing the potential of what you can do with a mod. I really like the style of this one and I think it really deserves a spot in this video because it does not stray away from the Minecraft style and it fits well into the game and looks great. Number 4 Extended Lights Anyone who likes illuminating their bases with redstone lamps or the less pretty glowstone blocks we all use more frequently in old school Minecraft will love this mod that I'm going to show you now. Extended Lights brings you alternative light choices to Minecraft through adding all new candles, lamps, lanterns, modern lights and more to the game. Along with all of this, the 1.16 update for the mod adds some nether themed blue firelight sources too which blend in with the new nether update in its biomes. There's braziers and special torch types types, classic street lanterns and so many awesome new light sources that should really be in the game already. Whether you want to decorate the interior of your base or the exterior outside in your world, this mod has you covered. Not only does it provide prettier looking light sources, they also look amazing in appearance to decorate with too. Number 3 Miner's Helmet One thing that I always loved in Terraria that I've been wanting Minecraft to add for years is the Miner's Helmet item. This mod adds exactly that, a Miner's Helmet that lights up the way in the dark when you're trawling through mining inside caves or deep in ravines. With this mod, zombies can now spawn with iron pickaxes and mining helmets as undead miners which adds more variation and immersion to the mobs in game. If you want to unlock the recipe for this, you need to obtain a lantern which will let you craft the helmet along with iron bars and leather. The helmet is great to explore the nether with or especially in the dark caves below your world which negates the need for having to use countless torches unless you use them strictly to find your way home then you'll probably still need to use them. You can also use the helmet when swimming underwater in the dark depths of the deep sea biomes. This is a really nice mod that adds a simple feature that Minecraft fans have been longing for for a long time and for me personally I really love this mod because it's a feature I've been waiting for for a long time. Number 2 Macaws Bridges This is another mod that I've wanted to feature for a while on the channel and finally I can show it to you. When there's two large mountains separated by a valley or destinations with a long split between them, sometimes we build less than stellar looking hand built bridges or connectors to bridge the gap. 
If you ever wanted a real bridge to look pretty whilst walking across it with style, then the McCaws Bridges mod offers a solution to that need. This mod adds a few different variants of bridges to the game by adding 24 additional bridges to the game with guardrails so you don't fall off them. It's in its early stages right now, but these bridges look awesome and you can build anything from wood to brick and stone or even metal bridge types too, and you can even build mine rail on some of them to use as train tracks, which is really nice. You can make long rope bridges or log bridges or steel beam bridges. There's a lot of options in this mod and there's even new crimson and warped wood bridge types since the nether update. Number 1 Comforts This simple mod brings the theme of camping to Minecraft by adding some new bed types to the game. These beds function just like vanilla beds do, although they don't set your spawn point when you sleep in them, meaning you can use them when camping out in the wild and not affect where you will respawn at at your original home point. These include sleeping bags and hammocks that you can rope to blocks or hang from trees, and they all come in the 16 different colour types that the normal beds offer that you make with wool. They are perfect to take with you when adventuring so you can skip the nighttime hours. It's a simple mod and it gets the job done and it looks good while doing it. If you enjoyed the video give it a like, and if you disagree with the top mods in this video and you think I missed your favourite mod which has been updated for Minecraft 1.16.2 then definitely let me know what that is in the comment section below so we can all check it out and maybe so I can feature it in the next video. If you want to see more top 10 Minecraft videos like this one that showcases all of the best types of mods in the game then check out the channel and make sure to subscribe with the notifications turned on by clicking the bell so you don't miss out on awesome Minecraft videos. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.